Welcome back to another edition of the Way of the Daniel. It is Monday, May the 17th, 2.26 p.m. We've got three topics for you today. Three topics I'd like to talk about. Three topics I'd like to motivate toward, essentially, these three topics. And we're going to throw back to a topic we had earlier. So let's get right fucking into it. I'm going to launch, launch with these topics and then we'll do astrological transits, and then we'll go more in depth with these topics. First thing we're going to talk about is the schedule, how to create a schedule, and one fascinating concept that I came up with really recently is instead of starting with necessarily just a blank slate, what sounds really fucking awesome, what sounds kind of pivotal and important, what what we'd like to actually explore and work with is just simply create a fucking schedule with what you've already been doing. What I mean by this is let's let's just write down what we've been doing the past few days, the what's and the wins, and maybe even throw in a little bit of the how, but mostly start with the what's and the wins. And then take that and refine it. So I plan on doing this today after the gym. Right now, as I give this speech, let's fucking motivate for the gym, too. We're getting ready to go to the fucking gym. So let's let's fucking do this shit. Let's do this shit right now. Let's fucking... We're not going there to fucking... Again, we're not going to throw shit around. We're going in there to... Core. We're going to go awesome with the core. Yeah, so work that schedule, which you've already been doing, and refine. Number two, 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 create, then listen for the echo. It's like the archers hold, release, hold, release, intentionally create, and then listen with your listening skills, if you have them. Most people don't know how to fucking listen. It's annoying as shit sometimes. But use them. Who cares what they do? Who cares? Who gives a shit about most people? Here at the Way of the Daniel, we work on how to listen, not just with our ears, but with our whole being. Create and then listen for the echo. Even if there is no fucking echo, listen for it. The other thing we want to talk about, a little throwback, throwback to May the 12th, which is around the start of the new moon. Focus on the basics, the visioning skill, connecting to divinity and work out like a beast slowly or build that aggressive warrior, which reminds me what is best to crush your enemies to see them driven before you and to hear the lamentations of their women what's remembered lives another topic we wanted to get into today we'll see where this speech fucking takes us is starting to explore this concept of the love foundation and maybe we'll get into that we did some writing on that so we'll see if we get into it some astrological transits we have for today the sun is at 27 degrees taurus and the moon is at three degrees aries sorry not aries moon is at three degrees leo so what's happening as we're approaching the upcoming first quarter moon time for course corrections readjustments see where you're at what can be worked on for this building waxing new moon and for us it comes back to a lot of the refocus on the basics because a lot of 
lot of stuff is filtered in coming you've seen it coming through but we want to get back to again focusing on the basic skill sets not get lost into too many distractions not lost with ideas of what we think we should and shit Focusing on what we love to do and things that we know are therapeutic and good for us. Order with a little bit of that thrown in fucking chaos. Order. Discipline. With a little bit of that thrown in there fucking chaos. All right. So which topic, which fucking topic, which fucking topic do we want to get into first? The Love Foundation, because let's let's talk about it. We've, we've, we've had some disagreements. We've had a little bit of a war, some not getting along with the subject of love. And one of those reasons, because we're calling it foundation, we're curious about C.H. Rocky's idea of have love as the foundation of your life. Which, which is kind of an oxymoron because traditionally we have been distrustful of love because it seems so ephemeral. Something that just like floats in and then it's gone. And how would you have something as your foundation that just seems to drift in and out and is its own kind of chaos, not here to stay? day kind of thing and i'm going to explain one one bullet point of where we may be re- misrepresenting this misunderstanding this and then we'll talk about some some building points of things that we love here at the way of the daniel so the first is that the ephemeral slash short-lived nature of love that seems not to be a good foundation, but one possible idea is the ephemeral nature of of it may not have to do with love per se, but may have more to do with a person's experience of love. It may be the actual individual involved who is shutting that shit down, who is not accepting or embracing of it. I have met people that they may get several times not just one individual but they get glimpses they get little little glimpses little experiences of love and then very quickly as sort of a reaction or by choice they shut that shit down and so here at the way of the daniel we are just like the healing that we are undergoing we are not interested in shutting that shit down we are interested in nurturing and building and growing that shit and as you can see here at the way of the daniel our form of nurturing isn't like let's take a little bubble bath like i love fucking hot water i love hot tubs i love steam rooms and shit but nurturing isn't just let's go to the spa and put things on our eyes and and relax out nurturing is also like let's fucking do this shit let's fucking get off your fucking ass and let's let's pick ourselves up nurturing not malevolent forcing shit got you so the other thing about love is let's let's not just think of love as this like however you might think of it it's probably bigger than you imagine so for example it's not just happy-go-lucky it's not just airy fairy shit because i have some examples i wanted to bring up uh love love is a foundation some examples movies the Goonies, Never Ending Story, and Amelie. If you've ever seen any of those movies, I would say those movies are about love. So those can include the topic of love. Those movies will say they are about love. The Goonies, Never Ending Story, and Amelie. Lots of love in those movies. And then I got to think of Lord of the Rings, and let's pull some characters that are quite good examples or embodiments of love in the Lord of the Rings, and let's go with Gandalf, number one. We can see lots of love in that that character there. Samwise, of course, very uh, 
good example. And this is one that I personally fucking really love is Boromir. Boromir as an archetype or an example of love. And you really see this in that tragic death scene, especially Boromir's love of Gondor. Boromir's love of Gondor. And even at the very end of his love as Aragorn as king of Gondor, like... Boromir's, wow, his love of Gondor is fucking profound. And so then we have here, like, we have Samwise's love for Frodo, Gandalf's love for hobbits, and you could say the world and goodness, maybe, and Boromir's love for Gondor. So these are all great examples of expanding what we might can, might have traditionally thought of as our small definition of love. So let's move on to the holding oh that fucking echo the echo the basics is good the basics is good why are we focusing on the basics because we want to get back to not thinking about shit that's just going to drag us down and the basics the basics won't drag us down and that's like that's narrowing narrowing our field and our vision of focus narrowing our field and our vision of focus so that our mind ideally stays within the boundaries see what i'm doing here the boundaries of the screen we want to create boundaries for our mind to stay within these boundaries sometimes okay i'm just talking about this one thing because then it's useful yes yes i i fully get and explore the concept of free your mind and limitless potential and shit like that because you want your mind to reach but you also need a fucking field of container or else it's just a goddamn scattergun windstorm and you ain't gonna get any money like you know those little boxes where money floats around and blows around and people grab bills well if that's not even an enclosed case like that's gonna be scattered all over the thing and we're talking about the mind here and ideas so create then listen for the echo and that schedule just we'll just throw together this schedule helps to schedule our mind helps to put our mind in the directions we want to go start with what you've already been doing and you'll see where you can refine and master time more fun less work star boy more fun less work star boy focus on the game the skill the connection grunt work really loving the topic of grunt work this time around let's see if we can get on our knees yeah get on our knees and tilt the screw we're gonna lose the laptop here yeah get on the knees and tilt the screen grunt work visionary skill love this fucking visionary skill if you haven't watched those videos go learn about the visionary skill so fucking helpful whenever you think like where do i go from here what do i do now <clears throat> That's your cue to jump to the visionary skill of start to envision yourself knowing the way, the excitement, the awesomeness. Instead of trying to solve it, just envision it. So, let's get ready. <sighs> to go crush the gym, then we'll come back and we'll work on the schedule. Maybe we'll do another speech, we'll see. But right now I do love the way we're talking, especially the way the lips are moving with this with this kind of speech right here up close, and now we're getting into a little riff and rambling play, so Way of the Daniel. Go out and conquer good shit with that's a good reflection with the samurai sword. May the force be with you from the west side. Aye, aye, aye.